So we just did a procedure on him and he looks pretty pretty chill down there but we're gonna do show mommy and daddy how we do the exercises. So so this is the tongue. This is quite nice. It's 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 uh, he's already elevating it so much better. So the the point of this is all of it is to make it a game. Babies do it so much better if it's a game. It's a nice, pleasant environment. You can do it while, you know, you are feeding or you're doing skin to skin with the baby, kind of snuggling with the baby, you can do that. Or you can have the baby in a familiar and warm environment like on a, on, a, on a changing table. And you can play a nice music or whatever, or just hum. Mm -hmm. Just hum to the baby, kind of play, kind of make you laugh, kind of, because this whole experience is important. It is not just, I'm going to get in there and I'm going to do it. The whole experience. You don't want to make, increase, the ba baby is going to be in pain. We're, ex we're stretching a wound. So we want to make it as easy as possible. Remember, you always have to be ahead of the pain. You can't go behind the pain because then they will anticipate it and, you know, doesn't go, it doesn't go as well. Uh, another thing I suggest is don't do it in a pattern like you do it always before feeding or after feeding, I do it randomly. So they don't associate this with feeding or this associate post feeding. People ask me, should, should we do, the, do them at night? If you're sleeping, baby's sleeping, you may or may not want to, but I will also tell you there are lots of people who will tell me that doing at night is the easiest thing for them. They can do the proceed, do the exercises and get it done and babies don't even wake up. So that is an option you should always keep open, but do you, do I really want you to get up for that at night? Probably not, probably not, but if you're up and the baby baby's sleeping, make use of that time. So this is how I do it. I make it as playful as possible. Oh, look at you, and I'm gonna sing to you. I don't have a good voice, but I'm still gonna do it. Mommy's voice, he knows better. Mommy's smell, he knows better. So if he's closer to mommy, it's nice. He's already in a, in a safe environment, which makes him feel better about this whole thing. So that's really important, okay? So we just go around the mouth. We go do the, do the pop, 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 any, any order that you want to. So basically what you're trying to do is to make the tongue move, okay? So I will do the lateralization. I rub the finger on the, on the gums. This makes the tongue, this is a reflex, they need to move the tongue, okay? They like doing that, and that is nice, you can do that. Again, it's very gentle, all of it is gentle, okay? Okay, and then he'll make all these, all these motions with the tongue, okay? Then we go down to do the suck swallow training, you do this part. You, this also, what this motion does, it kind of desensitizes their gag, gag reflex because a lot of babies who are born with tongue ties have a very strong gag reflex. Mm -hmm. This desensitizes their gag reflex and, 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 and doesn't make them choke with every feed. This is especially seen with when children are, 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 are bottle feeding or with solids, but even breastfeeding, I think it's a good idea to do that. Okay, so the, you do this nicely, playfully, okay? Then you go down and do this part in which kind of both sides of the tongue, you go like this, you reach to the bottom, and he's not gonna be uncomfortable with this. But, and you just stretch the wound. Remember, it's a horizontal wound. We make it into a vertical wound, okay? Okay, okay. Then we take a little coconut oil um, uh, in, in, on the little finger, and we kind of gently massage this area. Kind of gently massage this area, okay? And, and then do this and then of course the whole time you're if you need to make sure that you're not anxious because if you're anxious the baby is will get anxious you first need to do something to calm yourself down okay kind of say well my baby probably will cry but I'm doing it for the best of my baby so you do that you are comfortable the baby is going to be is going to have higher chances of being comfortable and then you do this, we suggest doing this about four to six times a day for two to four weeks, okay? Um, I think babies do well with this. Our baby, baby Canyon, he just had a procedure and he doesn't seem to be too worried about the exercises. So I think he's gonna be good. Now most babies, 
are not going to be as chill or as easy as Baby Canyon, but the combination between you and the baby, as long as you make it a playful exercise, can work really well. And I'm really enjoying looking at the movement of his, at the increased movement of his tongue. This is quite dramatic. So guys, enjoy. Put the baby to the breast as much as possible. Okay. Okay? And all yours.